like welcome back welcome back to lcs tv plus this is part two of how to stick your ada through the daedalus wallet um also i'm going to be receiving my ada onto the daedalus wallet i'm going to teach you how to withdraw and deposit onto the daedalus wallet and with this example wallet that i created in my previous part one video we created a Shelly version wallet so we can get that support for staking so we can um, earn some rewards with our ada so let's get started all right so the first thing you want to do is click receive on the wallet then what we're going to do on the right hand corner here where it says show used it's just going to um, pretty much once you switch that toggle on it's just going to pretty much um, show the receiving address that you've been using previously so you won't have to generate a new one so make sure you have that toggle on and i'm going to click this first one here and i'm going to copy this address and as you see right here it says copy to the clipboard and then what we're going to do is head back to qcoin and i'm going to be pasting that um, recipient address into the wallet address here and we're going to select the network so ada and we're going to choose max because we're going to um, send about a hundred bucks a hundred bucks worth of uh, ada onto the daedalus wallet and you want to always start with a small amount you don't want to um, if you have a lot of you know equity or you know you have a lot of ADA and it's worth a lot you want to just make sure that uh, the wallet address works you want to just test out maybe a hundred bucks maybe 50 you know and um, so you won't have to put your funds in this making sure that that um, wallet address is verified so we're gonna hit confirm and I'm gonna do this verification process of withdrawing and I'm gonna cut it here all right, so I received my ADA, so I have 75.10. So it took a network fee out of Qcoin of 2 ADA. So this is how you completely do the withdrawal process with ADA. And also bookmark this, you know, like the video. Always come back to this process whenever you need to withdraw your ADA. And this is how you do it. So let's continue on with the staking process. All right, so once you have your ADA, you're going to click on the second icon here in the menu tab. Then it's going to take you to the delegation center now at the top you have your current cardano epoch timeline and at the bottom you have your wallets now this will tell you some information to see if your wallet is currently in a staking pool or not so as you see with the example wallet it's undelegated so we're going to delegate it later on then um you come to the second tab here you have like four tabs here in this uh, staking center so you have stake pools this is just a catalog of different staking pools also, you have like this, uh, it's like a, um, a mount counter can kind of recommend you, uh, like depending on how much ADA you have, uh, it'll recommend you in a certain pool that you're kind of like get potential rewards. So I thought that was interesting and helpful, you know, starting off with a certain amount, you want to make sure that you, um, in a staking pool that's earning a good amount of rewards. And then you have the reward center. Now this is based off of earned delegation rewards. So as you see here on my first wallet here, I earned so far in total is 4,476 uh, ADA in rewards. How it works is there's an initial waiting period of 16 to 20 days. So as a delegator, it's gonna register you on the network in order to stake, right? And then wh whichever staking pool that you're in, after that initial waiting period of 16 to 20 days, then uh, one card down on epoch equals five days so every five days as that staking pool is producing blocks once that epoch ends and it goes to a completely new staking session of five days then the payout of the delegation rewards would be here so every five days pretty much you start earning rewards after that initial waiting period of registration on the network but um just let me know in the comment section if you need to correct me or not and then you have the information tab where it just tells you that the cardano network is fully decentralized for block production so um pretty simple now let's get to the part where we're going to stake our ada with our example wallet so you're going to hit delegate all right so you're going to follow these three simple steps so number one is wallet selection and number two is stake pool selection and number three is delegation confirmation i'm going to walk you through three steps but i'm not going to confirm my delegation with the example wallet because i have a small amount but you're going to get the full picture of how to do the process for staking so we're going to hit continue so you're going to choose your wallet 
delegate wallet. So we have the example wallet selected already. We're going to hit continue. And also just something to point out, the minimum amount of ADA is 10. So just so you know, as long as you have 10 or more, you'll be able to stake. So you're going to hit continue. So I'm going to choose a staking pool. So I'm going to choose uh, P2P as number two. We're going to hit continue. And then on this final confirmation step right here, you're just going to confirm delegation and you have your stake pool ID, um, the fees that they're going to take out. So 0 0.16 and then you're going to deposit to ADA. And then once you put in your spending password, it's going to um, confirm that delegation and it's going to go in that process of registering you onto the stake and pool network. And like I said before, after that initial waiting period of 16 to 20 days, then um, you start participating into the epochs within that staking pool so you can start earning rewards every five days as that staking pool is producing blocks and you go to your reward center and you see your rewards and counting. So that's pretty much it guys. Um, I know this was a uh, highly anticipated like part two. A lot of people wanted this part two and I just wanted to make it simple and bring back um, you know the groundwork of my channel and how i like to do tutorials but if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash the subscribe button turn on bell's notifications also leave me a like for the support um also join my telegram group um we have a lot of good people and um any type of questions um we have some admins that will adapt you with those type of questions and until next time this is oliver and i'm signing out <laughs>